Hey guys, it's Sean with Stump Moving and Storage, and today we're going to be talking about the five most forgotten items when packing for a move. We want to make sure that you guys understand what these items are, that way you don't miss them whenever you're packing for your move, and you don't get a surprise on the day the movers arrive, because they're going to have to pack these items, and that's going to cost you money. So preparing for your move is of the utmost importance, and making sure you take care of these items will help you do that. Before we get into it, if you guys enjoy this video, if you learned something, if this helped you prepare for your move, please hit that like button for me. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have pertaining to the moving and storage industry, especially the ones that help you prepare for your move. We're going to jump right into this, and it's no particular order. These items are almost always forgotten about. It doesn't seem like one's more than the other or anything like that. Just make sure that you watch this the whole way through and you don't forget any of these items we're talking about. Now all these items that we're talking about are items that are commonly forgotten whenever the homeowner has elected to pack. Now the moving company may or may not leave a couple of these items out if they're the ones packing. That way you can use them all the way up until the day of your move. But typically these are items that are forgotten about by the homeowner who is elected to pack themselves. And we're gonna start with number five, working our way all the way to number one. And number five is bedding. Bedding is any of the items that you use on your bed. That would be pillows, comforters, sheets, things of that nature. We can see why it's forgotten about. Up until the day of your move, you're going to be sleeping in your bed. And typically movers arrive between eight and 9 a.m. pretty much just after you get out of bed and get ready for the day, prepare for the movers to arrive and you may forget to pack the bedding. We want to make sure we have a box set aside or two that will handle all of the bedding, pillows, things of that nature. That way they don't get destroyed, they don't get dirty during the move process. Don't put them into a garbage bag. That's a terrible, terrible way to do it. That's a very novice idea. I know there's a lot of hacks out there that say you could put them into garbage bags. Well, garbage bags typically rip. Garbage bags have no structure. They become very difficult to load. So we want to make sure that we have a, what is a four or five box. And if you need one of those, we're going to have them linked down in the description below for you. In fact, we're going to have all of this stuff that you need to pack and prepare for your move linked right down there in the description below. A four or five is perfect for bedding, anything like that. And all that is is really a medium sized box. And we'll be moving right along to number four. Number four is very similar to number five in the fact that you probably are going to have these items out all the way up until the day of your move. And that is your electronics. And we're going to use this in a broad sense of the term because there's many different electronics people have, whether that's your DVD player, whether that's your computer, your video game consoles, things of that nature, uh, sound bars for your television. We want to make sure that everything like that is packed before your movers arrive. That way, they don't have to do any packing and you're not going to incur another cost. Now it is very important that you have some boxes set aside for these specific items because your movers will not move them unless they're packed. They're extremely fragile. I mean, all electronics, if they get bumped, if they get hit in the wrong way, can end up breaking. So we want to make sure that they're taken care of properly. Now, if you don't know how to do that, we have several videos that we'll link in the description below and at the end of this video to help you with that. And moving right along to number three, it's gonna be your pictures, like this one behind me here. Pictures are often forgotten because they just hang on the wall and we overlook them in our day-to-day -day activity. We wanna make sure that these are taken care of because oftentimes you have glass that covers the picture itself and your frames, well, they're pretty expensive. So we wanna make sure that they don't get scratched or damaged whenever you're moving and we wanna make sure that the glass doesn't break as well. And if you have an oil painting, well, that's another thing that you have to think about as well because typically they don't have glass in front of them. It's just canvas, and we don't want anything puncturing that. If you're wondering how to pack pictures, go ahead and take a look in the description below. We have a video that details all of that there for you and all of the moving supplies that you'll need to get this job done. Again, if you guys don't pack these items, your movers will be forced to do that. You can't load glass things of that nature into a moving van and expect it not to break. We wanna make sure that everything is done properly. If you're wondering why not just wrap your pictures with bubble wrap, well that's because that's one step in the process. You can wrap your pictures with bubble wrap, but you can't forget to use a cardboard box to make sure that nothing punctures that bubble wrap. 
The bubble wrap is only there to prevent damage if the picture is dropped or jostled during the move. It's not going to protect it from any punctures. And again, I have a video teaching you how to pack pictures linked right down here in the description below, or you could click on this link right here. And moving right along to number two, we're going to be talking about glass and marble tops. We lump these into the same category because they're used in a similar fashion throughout your house. You're going to want to take a look and see, maybe you have a desk similar to mine here. I have a glass top. This glass top needs to be protected. Don't expect your movers to come prepared for that. Make sure that you have all this packed and prepared prior to your move. That way your movers are ready and can pack everything as necessary into the moving van. Now these glass tops that I'm talking about can be found inside of your china closets, your entertainment stands. They can be on your coffee tables or on your end tables. As for your marble tops, they can be found pretty much everywhere just like your glass. If you have any furniture with a marble top to it, don't expect that it's fixed. Typically, even the ones that you think are fixed to the piece of furniture can be taken off or they're just stuck on there because we see a lot of marble tops on older furniture, a lot of antiques, and they've just become stuck over time. And your marble tops are very important because they are extremely fragile and typically need to be crated. And we'll have a video teaching you how to crate marble in the description below. And we'll be wrapping it up with number one. And I believe that number one here is the most forgotten about item whenever people pack. It is overwhelmingly something that we see whenever we go to a move. And if an individual has elected to pack themselves, they almost always seem to have forgotten this item. And that is lamps and lamp shades. And it really makes sense because all the way up until the day of your move, you're going to need light, especially at night. And most people work during the day and they're going to need to prepare for their move or they're going to pack at night. So their lamps and lamp shades are going to be vital to do that. But they oftentimes forget about it because again, just like pictures on the wall, it's something that we take for granted, something that we look past and forget. Lamps and lampshades, again, are things that your movers are not going to take unless they're packed properly. And if you don't have the boxes or the means to pack them properly, then your movers are going to have to do that. And again, that will end up being an added cost at the end of your move. We want to make sure we avoid that. We want to make sure that you're prepared for the move. So go ahead and have a few boxes left out for those lamps that you've decided not to pack and those lampshades that you've decided not to pack until the day of the move. Again, we can't fault you for needing light the night before. So just being prepared and squared away really helps. And you might be wondering yourself, well, why do lamps and lampshades need packed? I want to just throw them down inside a garbage bag. And we want to make sure that lamps and lampshades are packed properly because they are very brittle. If you touch a lampshade, you can see what I'm talking about. They are very thin. There's almost no structure outside of the wire frame. And if anything would bump into it or hit it, it can end up puncturing or ripping the shade. So we want to make sure that they're packed correctly inside of a box. A box has structure and a box will prevent any damage to the lamp or lamp shade. If you follow the steps in the video that we have linked below or you could tap or click the screen right now, you'll be able to rest easy because your lamps and lamp shades are packed properly. Now you have to make sure that you load them correctly, which is another ball game. And again, we have a video about how to load a moving van if you guys have any questions about how to do this, we have videos for all of these items linked down in the description below. And we'll have a playlist linked at the end here that you can watch to help prepare for your move. And to wrap this up, guys, we just want to make sure that you're prepared for your move. So if you've elected to pack all of your items yourself, make sure that you go around your house before the day of your move, that you've taken a look for any of these items that we've talked about here. Make sure that they're packed. If you can't pack them, such as your bedding or some lamps, make sure you have enough boxes and packing material set aside so that you could do that in the morning or while your movers are handling the larger items. That way you don't incur any costs later on down the road and your movers aren't bogged down by having to pack your items because again, most moving companies, if you're moving local, they're gonna charge you by the hour. So making sure that you're squared away, everything is ready to go and prepared really helps you out later on down the road. If you have any questions about these items that we've highlighted here, go ahead and ask us in the comments section down below. We're happy to hear from you and we'd love to answer any of the questions that you guys have. 
And if you guys want to see a video that we haven't highlighted here on the channel about the moving industry or moving in general, let us know. We'd be happy to make one that highlights anything that interests you. If you guys have found value in this video, if it helped you out, if it prepared you for your move, if it got you thinking about things that you forgot, please hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos that we have coming out about the moving and storage industry. Also, our tutorial videos that will help you prepare for your move. And we'll see you in the next one.